Hey everybody, it's Miss Susan. I'm so excited that you're joining me today for episode three of the Every Child Ready to Read program. Today we're gonna talk about singing and we're gonna talk about how singing breaks down words so that it's easier for your little one to be able to read. So today we're gonna have some fun because what I'm gonna do when I share my screen is I'm gonna show you just a few, it's gonna be very short PowerPoints letting you know a little bit about singing and how beneficial it is to your child and then we're going to watch some really cute videos on youtube that i think that you will enjoy and your little ones will definitely enjoy singing classic nursery rhymes and then we're going to wrap up this story time for with me sharing with you different tips and tricks on how you can continue working with your child through singing to help them get ready to read so hang on a sec let me turn around my camera so you can see my computer screen and we'll get started all right well singing, songs. Songs help children develop listening skills and pay attention to the rhymes and the rhythms of spoken language. Most songs have a different note for every syllable. This helps children break down words so that they can hear individual sounds in a word. Singing slows down language so children can hear different parts of the word and notice that they are alike or different. Clapping along with the rhythm helps children hear syllables and words and helps them improve their motor skills. Now singing also helps children to learn new words and adds to their general knowledge. For example, singing the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Stars. I, If I know you, we've been singing this song all of our lives, so we know this song, but our children don't so this is a great opportunity to teach it to them and it's a very simple song that it breaks down the words listen twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how I wonder what you are. <laughs> you remember that song? <laughs> it's very simple and a lot of fun. But there's some great YouTube videos out there too with some fun characters singing these classic nursery rhymes too. Let me show you an example about one of my favorites that I share to my preschoolers. It's a, it's a group called the Storybot. So hang on a second, let me cue them up and I want you to listen how they sing this classic song. Storybots. Weren't they cute? Didn't you just love the story bots? I bet you if you show that video and all the other videos to your little ones that they will enjoy watching the story bots too. Okay, well that's it for me. This is a really short episode, but I have a lot of information for you. If you go to the State Library of Louisiana, and don't worry, I have the link in the description for you, you're going to find these adorable little mini books. I don't know if you can see that very well, but anyway, if you look at our Every Child Ready to Read website, you will find a link to all of these nursery rhymes. 
So if it's been a long time since you've sang Twinkle Tinkle Little Star or some of the other classic nursery rhymes, don't worry. They have at least 24 of these. And what's cute is that your child can color them and then you can collect them and you can just read them over and over and over again and sing the songs over and over again. Again, this is a perfect opportunity for your little one to practice their reading skills because once they listen to it and once they practice and they become better readers and better talkers and so on and so forth. So again, take a look at the link in the description down below. Check out our Madison Public Library Every Child Ready to Read program website. It's going to have information about our Rubber Ducky Club, which will give you an opportunity to practice some activities to help your child with their singing skills, which will inevitably help them with their reading skills. And also, it has the link to our Good Books for Kids. Just click on it and you'll be able to check out a book if you have a Matson Area Public Library card. But again, if you don't, don't worry about it. Most of these books are classic titles, so you can probably find them at your local library and check them out too. And again, check out this website at the State Library of Louisiana to be able to get these adorable mini books and start collecting them with your little ones. Well, my name is Miss Susan with the Madison Public Library. Thanks so much for joining me for Episode 3. I look forward to seeing you at Episode 4. Have a great day. Bye.